Hello everybody. The name of the game today is Facing Your Demons. So, I've been going through a lot lately uh, in the avenue of demon slaying. And, uh, yeah. So, I've been facing this specific demon lately. And it's weird because I didn't expect it to come in the way that it did. I didn't expect it to feel the way that it did. And um, I didn't even really know that I have been battling with this so much. Uh, so the specific demon I'm talking about is self-worth and insecurities and doubt. Who wants to deal with that shit, right? So I'm over here living my life and then I realized this is like a big moment for me with it um, I was at lunch with friends and uh, sometimes when I'm around great people that I view as great I feel very inadequate now sometimes that could be me reflecting their feelings of inadequacy but most of the time, pretty much all the time, it's just me dealing with my own shit. So I'm in the restroom, washing my hands, at lunch with friends, and I'm like, all right, what the fuck do you want from me? Because I got really tired of the self-doubt. I got really tired of just like the anxiety. I'm at lunch with friends having a good time. But I got this fucking self-doubt and worry and anxiety just like just fucking crushing me. So I'm like, alright, what do we do with this? How do we fix this? How do I how do I address this? How do I handle this? So as I'm washing my hands, I'm like, yo, what do you want? And I'm I'm verbally speaking. Nobody's in there, I don't think. I don't even care at this point. Cause I'm fucking tired of it, right? So I'm like, what do you fucking want from me? Like what are you here for? How? 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 Do I please you? What do you, what, how do I give you what you want? What's the secret sauce? What's the formula? What are you asking for from me? How do I fix this? How do I repair this? How, how do I make you feel more comfortable? How do I help you help me? What, what lesson am I learning from this? What do you need from me? You need a hug? Obviously a shot of vodka won't help because we've tried that many times and it just makes us worse. So like, what do we need? What do you need? What are you here for? So, I've been listening for the answers lately. And, um, you know, they're, they're coming. Uh, I just got off the phone with um, my friend Renee who was helping me write my first book and we talked about this moment and it's interesting because you know her perspectives are always from an outside perspective so they're like way uh, way more I guess positive so to speak on um, on like what it is you know and she was asking me she's like did something because this, we started the conversation. She was like, "Did something happen this week? Like, did it? Did it? Did a switch flip where you're you're in a better headspace?" Because I told her I was in a better headspace than the last few times we had spoken. And the short answer initially was no, but then it turned into a long answer of, "Well, yeah, I faced this demon. I'm going through this shit. You know, I faced a lot of demons recently: self doubt, family demons. You know, like." fucking I, I spoke to my mom really in depth about you know how I was feeling unwelcome at her home due to outside influences from the family and you know we, we talked and cried and connected um, and it's just interesting it's interesting that like all these demons the way they pop up right they don't look 
feel, sound, or act like what you think demons look, feel, sound, act, smell, taste like. Who tells you that, right? You learn that. You figure that out along your journey. You look around at what you have and do your best to appreciate what you have. As most things in life are, they're easier said than done. So as you're facing your demons, remember they probably don't, they don't be like what you thought they'd be like. This ride isn't what you think this ride's gonna be. It's typically entirely some, something entirely different. The highs are typically gonna be different than the highs you think they're gonna be. The lows are gonna be typically different than what you think the lows are gonna be. Every bit of this journey is unexpected. Even when you know what to expect, the shit still be unexpected. So, in the concept of facing our demons, I want you to know that you could have a beautiful waterfall and pool in your backyard. You can have gorgeous views. You can live in a skyscraper. You can live off the side of a mountain. You can live in a shack. It's all about your perspective and what you do with what's in front of you. Have respect for yourself. Have love and compassion for yourself. If you're feeling something that you don't know what it is or how to handle it, it's probably a lesson. So, in the essence of how I handled my demon the other day in the bathroom, if you're feeling overwhelmed with a certain emotion that you're not really deeming pleasant and you take that overwhelm and you ask it what do you want what are you looking for what do you need from me how can I help you and what are you trying to teach me how can we learn and grow together I don't want to kill you because you're a part of me so how can I bring you into this and make you a part of this world that I live in without the negativity that that typically comes. Without the discord, without the dis-ease that comes. And typically you don't get the answers right away. But when you get the answers, it's like bit by bit, bite by bite. I use the analogy with one of my younger tattooers the other day. How do you how do you eat a car? One bite at a time. <laughs> and then I, I heard them actually like bring that back to me later and be like, yeah, I remembered that. And so remember that. How do you eat a car? One bite at a time. And over time. That way you can digest all the pieces and not die. Things in life happen in little bits a lot of the time. If you have a giant tattoo that's super dark and I need to cover that, well, we're going to do multiple sessions. We're going to put darks over it first. Then we're going to put our mid layers and our light layers. Then we have to bang those layers over and over again until we get all of the saturation we need to completely... Destroy the old image. Bury the old image. Make it undetectable. Still there. But now you're not feeling the negative effects of it. So how do you do this with your emotions? Bit by bit, bite by bite. Piece by piece. 
take your emotions and you ask them what they're here for, what they're teaching you. What do you need to learn from this? What can you teach me? What can I teach you? Emotion, what are we here for? So yeah. I think I've said what I needed to say. If y'all get me. Um, and if y'all don't need, no. if y'all don't, <laughs> don't get me and y'all need some clarification, holler at me later. I can help you through this to whatever level I know how to help you through this. And there's a little empanada back there barking at nothing. So sometimes you just bark at nothing. And then sometimes, where are you? <laughs> you figure it out and just lay in the sun. So if you find yourself barking at nothing, try and turn that into a communication. Who are you? What are you here for? What do you need? How can I be of service to you? How can I help you? How can we get better together? Remember, your emotions are a part of you. They're in your brain, they're in your heart. You don't want to take those emotions and turn them into warfare inside all this. So, that's that for today, kids. I love all of you so, so much. Thank you for being a part of my journey. I'm Rad, and so the fuck are you. I'll see you guys soon. Love you, and have a great day.